what's up chat so today we're gonna be doing a video that's a little different than what i normally do today we're gonna be talking about sensitivity now a lot of you have been coming into my chat asking me what my sensitivity and my settings are and i want to start and preface this video by saying don't do that don't ask me or other streamers what their sensitivity is and the reason is because everybody's sensitivity is going to be different so my sensitivity might not be good for you and it's key factors that play into that like i play on an ipad i use thumb sleeves and on top of that i have smaller hands now if you play on a phone and you don't use some sleeves that would mean my sensitivity would not work well for you so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through the sensitivity settings and i'm going to break down what it is that you should be using whether it's turning things up turning things down what actual settings i have on and off so that you can establish what sensitivity works best for you and hopefully that makes your gameplay a lot better or feel a lot better at least so if you guys like this video make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into it chat so once you go into your control setting i know the first thing that pops up is your hud and now i'm not really gonna get too much into my hud it really doesn't play a big part in this video i'm just gonna show it on the screen because i know a lot of you guys do ask uh the only thing i do want to point out is that i do have I, well, first of all, I play four finger and second of all, I do have my ADS and my fire button separated and I know a lot of you have asked previously why I do that. For me, it's just I get a lot quicker reaction time when I have them separated and then on top of that, I am able to switch back and forth between ADS fire and hip fire without letting off the fire button. So that's why I prefer it. I mean, if you're playing two finger or three finger, maybe it's not the best for you, but this is just my HUD. So if you guys want to use it, you can. If not, I'm just going to show it just in case. All right, so going into the first section, which is gameplay. Now, these settings, a lot of them I have kept as standard settings. I really didn't change anything. The only thing I changed in the first section is the auto mantle, the auto crouch, and the auto parachute. And just to give you a brief reason why, the auto mantle, I don't need to be hiding behind a box and then trying to use a heady and the game decides to prop me up on top of that. It's not worth it. I turned it off right away. If I need to get on top of an object, I will jump. I don't need the game to do that for me and then for the auto parachuting i know a lot of you are like steph you die all the time to fall damage like why don't you have auto parachute on listen it deploys way too high so when you are coming down from the sky and you're just floating there you're an easy target i like to deploy my parachute as close to the ground as possible to avoid being an open target in the sky so that's why i do have it off obviously i know there's some fall damage that i take with that decision but i digress anyway so the next section that we have is the movement and there's one key thing i want to talk to you guys about with the movement section so the one key part of this section that we want to focus on is the camera rotation mode now you'll see there's two options fixed or accelerated now to give you a real quick description of what that means if i'm running and someone starts shooting me in the back i can completely 180 on them and i know exactly how far my thumb has to go on the screen for me to 180 that is because i play fixed speed so i know my full swipe on my screen will get me to a complete 180. now if you play on speed accelerated the harder you like the harder and faster you swipe that's how fast you're gonna go so you might not get a full 180 like if i swipe really fast i might go further than a 180. so Personally, for me, I don't like playing on accelerated because it's not consistent for me. However, if you're on a phone or you're not using thumb sleeves, sometimes accelerated is better for you. I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that, but that's why I play fixed speed. Fixed speed for me, I know exactly where my thumb has to land for me to 180 and it works perfectly most of the time when I'm not actually doing what I'm supposed to do. So that's my choice also in this section you'll see that the ads button allows rotation and the fire button allows rotation and the throwback button allows rotation now i have all of those turned off and the reason i have them off is because i play four finger hud and i do not need to be using my left pointer finger and my camera starts moving around i personally like to have all those off and the only thing that controls my camera movement is my thumb that i use to look around the screen so if you're playing again on phone maybe that might work better for you or if you're using a two-finger hud maybe that will work better for you but me personally i do not like them on so i turn them off so in the next section you have combat i mean these are all pretty self-explanatory i have auto fire off i don't have any of that stuff on um when it comes to single shot fire behavior i only have that for shotguns i don't have that for anything else but for the most part the rest of these settings i pretty much had them all as is, I don't think I really changed a lot of the other items down here. So 
that's about it for my gameplay settings. Um, and then guys, if you ever have questions about what a setting does, you can always click on it and it will tell you exactly what it does. Now, the next section that we have up is the interface. So with the interface, again, I really didn't change a lot of the items in here. The only thing I really made a difference or that made a difference for me was the hit marker display. I did turn that down to small because it was very distracting and it was very large on the screen. So it can be a little in the way if you're like fighting multiple enemies. So I did turn that off. That's honestly just preference based. It really doesn't make a difference. Um, other than that, Everything else on here, it's kind of self-explanatory. There really isn't much on here that I changed that would make a notable difference. So this is really preference. It's, I don't think we really have to get too far into this one. But if you do have questions, always feel free to ask. All right, so now we are at the start of the show. This is your sensitivity settings. This first section, which is your first person sensitivity, this is the most important section because this is your overall camera sensitivity. So the horizontal is obviously your left to right. The vertical is your up and down. Now, this isn't the sensitivity that's about ADSing. This is just your overall. So if I'm running around the map, right, and someone says, hey, there's a guy over here and I go to swipe to look to where that guy is, not while ADS, just look. If I'm straight, I want to be able to turn to a perfect angle to where I need to be. And I play, like I said earlier, I play fixed speed. So I know exactly how far I have to flick my thumb in order to get to that point. But if you're not getting to that point, or if I'm maybe coming short, or if I'm going too far, then I know that my horizontal is too low. Same thing applies, obviously, with the vertical. If I'm up and down, if something says he's on the roof and I look up and I go way past it, obviously I know that sensitivity is too high. I have to turn that down. So this is something that you have to be in game. Unfortunately, there is no practice range. So you have to kind of do it while you're playing. Honestly, it's not that bad. You tweak it while you're in game and you can adjust it accordingly. Like I said, if you're if you feel like it's moving too fast and you know you have to turn those numbers down, if it's moving too slow, turn them up. Now, the next section is for controllers. I'm not getting into that. But below that is your ADS sensitivity. Now, this is your overall ADS sensitivity right at the top, which is your global. This is going to be your horizontal sensitivity, right? That first one that we talked about and your vertical that we talked about. Now we're applying it to your ADS sensitivity. So when I'm aiming down a sight and I'm looking down the gun, those two that we just talked about are now going to apply to this. So now this one, if I'm ADSing at one person and I wanna flip to another person, I wanna be able to know exactly how much I have to turn. If I'm tracing them and I'm going too slow, if, you know, if let's just say for instance, a car is driving by and I'm trying to trace that car, if I'm not able to keep up with it perfectly, I know that that sensitivity has to go up a little bit. Same thing if I'm going and it's way too fast and I can't control my gun when I'm trying to follow someone, I know I have to turn that down now. So. The line below it, which says ADS sensitivity per zoom, that is an on and off toggle. So what this means is that I can control my sensitivity per sight. So if I'm using a red dot versus using a four time, I can now tweak these sensitivities per sight. So I personally like having this section on it's honestly preference based, but I like having it on because my sensitivity with a red dot is going to be a lot different than a sensitivity with a scope, like a four or six or whatever it is. So I'm not gonna get into each of these line items. I mean, all of them are pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's written there. I, mine are pretty much all very much stock. I really didn't change a lot of my sensitivity settings here. I felt comfortable if I'm using a red dot and it felt a little shaky or it felt a little too fast or a little too slow, I would turn it up and down accordingly. Same thing with all the other scopes. You can tweak these numbers up and down. If you know, you're trying to snipe and you're not able to control how quickly you're moving that sniper, then you want to turn your, if let's just say you're using a six time, you turn that down. But again, this is all stuff that you want to tweak in game as you're using these guns it takes a lot of time when you're first doing this to really tweak it to what you prefer but that's the reason why i said that using someone else's sensitivity might not work best for you because what i use might be way too slow for you or it might be too fast so you have to sit here and tweak these accordingly to really feel comfortable with what they are for the low zoom this is honestly just no scope or even a, a regular red dot anything less than two time so this one is the main one that I use. I don't snipe really, and majority of my guns, I do tend to use a red dot. So this is my main focus. And this one, like I said, as I'm sitting there and I'm playing and I'm trying to trace people, if I felt like I was going a little too fast, I would turn that down a little bit. And again, if I feel like I'm going too slow and I'm not able to be where I want to be, I turn it up. 
So the rest of them, again, self-explanatory. This last setting is the ADS, the ADS sensitivity transition time. Now, to give you a brief description of what this means is when I ADS my gun, how quickly does my sensitivity come into play? So I have mine after zoom. So as soon as my gun fully zooms in onto that scope, whether it's a red dot, whether it's an iron sight, whatever it is, as soon as I hit that full ADS, that's when my sensitivity comes into play. There is a gradual setting and there is another setting, which is the instant. So as soon as I press the ADS button, it will kick into play. It was already preset to after zoom, so I just left it there. Honestly, I don't really notice that much of a difference. You can play around with it if you want to. Again, it's, the description is kind of in itself. So that's just where I have mine at. Now, again, when it comes to the sensitivity, it can be a little confusing on how to tweak it. But if you do click on each one of these items, it does give you a description this is just how i broke it down to myself and how others have broken down to me so hopefully this makes it a little less complicated like i know the verbiage can be a little confusing so hopefully this helps all right guys so that pretty much sums up everything when it comes to the sensitivity settings i hopefully did a good job i hope so if i didn't let me know in the comments below if i messed anything up or if i wasn't detailed enough on a specific setting please let me know because this is my first time ever doing a video like this and honestly the reason i'm doing it is because a lot of you keep asking and i really just want to make sure that i give you guys something that i can point you in a direction to give you a good sensitivity description and let you guys figure it out like i said i don't want to steer you guys the wrong way but if i did explain something wrong definitely tell me because when i'm streaming and you guys are asking i want to be able to give you the right answers so i can only give you guys what other people have described to me and how i'm interpreting what all these settings mean so if you do like this video or if you want to see more videos on a specific topic obviously let me know below and if there's anything else in the game that you want a description of or if you want to see definitely just tell me if you guys do like this video like i said earlier make sure to like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching i'll see you all in the next one